Thank everyone for coming to the meeting. We do roll call. Ma'am. Mr. Douglas. Here. Mr. Langley. Here. Mr. Fabro. Here. And Ms. McDonald. Here. Okay. And also with us tonight is Courtney, uh, Mike, Bob, Dave, and Pam. And that's it. That's it. Okay. So then we have glory to approve number four. Approve the minutes of March 12, 2018, regular meeting. You have a motion and a second? Jim Langley. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, Mel is excused tonight, too. Mel Irwin is excused tonight. Um, community input. Anyone sign up, Diane? Yes. Okay. John? Yeah, I had a couple of questions. Uh, permit fees, they were approved. Somehow I was under the impression that we didn't have to have a public hearing on that? Nope, we did not. No. Oh. Found out from our attorney that we did not have to. Oh, okay. Yep. And uh, it's kind of strange, but. <laughs> uh, yeah, there was a second book back and tell you what. Pardon me? You know me, I'll tell you why. I don't remember. Oh, Pam. Okay. Else. It was part of the law, the original uh, zoning law. Didn't need to have a hearing? Okay. Has there that meeting between the town of Plattsburgh and uh, the justices and you and so on taken place yet? Yep. Me, uh, not the justice. Uh, me and Mike Cashman had our meeting that I said I would have immediately right after. We met when he got back from New York City that day. Mike Cashman sent out an email, sent out a follow-up email, and um, the justice, justice have not reached out to have a meeting with Mike and me. Um, me and Mike have talked since because we just had a meeting at the county last week and he brought it up again, I brought it up and there's not been a meeting yet. So there's no resolution to it yet? There's not a resolution to it yet, um, but we know the solution how to, to solve it. Um, if they're from Blackford, you know, just, just say, you know, it's, we, we take the cases from Peru, you know, is it being done that way? I don't know because I haven't been told. Well, Judge Kirby did stop by the other day and said since it was brought up, they haven't had another call. Might have solved this up. From the police, you mean? Yeah. Really? Okay. So it might have been a good meeting to have between me and Mike and the word got out. <laughs> and when do you expect bids on that North, to let bids on that North Main Street project? Good question, John. Uh, Wednesday, Adele is going to be here at 2.30. Uh, Jim Douglas is going to be able to make that meeting with her, and she's going to be meeting with uh, the people to go over that to send out the bids. Okay. And that's Wednesday, this Wednesday at 2.30. Okay, that's all I got. Thanks, John. And John, you're actually welcome to come, too, if you it's here okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, Teresa <laughs> Kaschak. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm Teresa Kaschak, and I just had a comment um, about the March 12th meeting. Um, from the minutes, there were there were some local business owners that had questions about temporary flags and banners and, and um, all that good stuff. And I know that in the current zoning law. Um, they are temporary, they're for 30 day periods, and these business owners were requesting a longer period of time. And as a sign business owner, myself and my husband own um, a local sign business, we have concerns, two concerns, obviously one about signs and the other just about the beautification of our town. Um, and just wanted to make a comment that we feel that a 30 day temporary, you know, is, is plenty of time. Anything longer would be considered a sign and banners really aren't signs. And we have experience from living in a previous community that did not have good zoning. If anybody can slap up a $200 banner, what's their incentive to get a real sign? <laughs> you know, and, and I have concerns, you know, on a business level and on a community member, you know, at the, the uh, beautification of our town. So I just wanted to register that. Um, and I understand from those m minutes that a meeting was supposed to take place. I wonder if it has taken place. No, no, it hasn't. Okay. Um, so prior, I was on vacation for a week. So before the vacation, I did send out an email to the uh, chairman of the zoning board and the planning board. And I, said it, I did send it to the town yeah. board, correct? Yeah. Just to see if, if there was an interest for some folks to serve on a, a 
ad hoc committee for, to, to look at making amendments to the zoning code as per our meeting on March 12th. Um, and I know there's been communication back and forth, emails sent and, and such, but no, no meeting has been set yet because this is really only my third day back from vacation, so I'm trying to catch up other stuff. But um, I think there will be a, a meeting held for those folks that are interested. We're if, interested. If you want to, if, if you want to, that's. I, I think that's a good thing. And more, the, you know, the more um, community input is is, is needed. And, uh, and, and I know. I mean, honestly, what, I, I understand that the the desire for a temporary banner. I, I get it. You're having a sale. I, you're having, you know. I don't think it was so much as a. Um, as a temporary banner as they were looking at the the spinners and floaters and stuff, which it's called out in our code that those are prohibited signs. So I think that's what they're interested in is, is having those reviewed. Um, so as far as like a temporary sign, I understand for grand openings and stuff like that, they're, they're allowed. But, yeah, but anything longer than 30 days is, is really right, a, right. A taking place yep. of a sign. Yep. <coughs> Once we have that meeting, and we, yeah, set can, up, we can let you know for sure. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. So before you leave, give me your number. I sure will. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, we're going to go right to number six, resolution discussion. This Tedford contract for engineering planning grant for Belcourt. Um, I need a motion and a second. Great. Okay. A second. Douglas to Jim Langley. Uh, a resolution accepting the Tedford Consulting proposal for preparing and submitting a DEC ESC engineering planning grant for the Town of Crows Valcourt Sewer District. Whereas the Town Board has received a proposal from Tedford Consulting for preparing and submitting a DEC ESC engineering planning grant applications for the purpose of town qualification for Valcourt Sewer District through the 2018 CFA process. And whereas the town board has reviewed this proposal and has decided that the proposal best meets the needs of the town for gathering information for the town's grant application for the engineering planning grant money. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the town of Crew accepts the proposal of Tedford Consulting for consulting for preparing and submitting a DEC EFC engineering planning grant application at an hourly weight of $75 for services provided in accordance with the town of Crew's financial policies, not to exceed $3,000, and directs the Town of Cruz Supervisor, Brandy McDonald, to sign this contract. Be it resolved that this resolution shall take effect immediately. Any discussion? Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Douglas? Yes. Mr. Langley? Yes. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Okay, here we go. It's passed. I guess we should just explain that we, of course, dealt with is for some time now. And oh, yeah. This is. Yeah. It's a routine one that she. Uh, routine. Yeah, fairly routine uh, grant that she applies for. She's done it. I can't even tell you how many times she's done it in the past. And uh, we're usually very successful for the grants for the yeah, beginning, twice, twice so far. Next one, we're going to go to the next one, but follows right into this one. Um, we're going to go to number seven, uh, resolution discussion AES agreement of engineering plan, uh, planning grant for Belcourt. I need a motion and a second for that one. Jim Lingley. Second. And Jim Douglas. Uh, a resolution accepting the AES Northeast PLLC replacement of the existing agreement dated July 20th, 2017 for preliminary engineering report for the DEC EFC engineering planning grant for the Town of Cruz Valcourt School District. Whereas the Town Board has received a replacement agreement dated March 8, 2018, from AES Northeast PLLC for a preliminary planning report dated July 20, 2017, for the DEC EFC engineering planning grant application for the purpose of town qualification for Valcourt School District through the 2018 CFA process, and whereas the town board has reviewed this new agreement and has decided that it shall replace the old agreement for project number 4628 for a cost savings of $2,250 as it 
best meets the needs of the town for the preliminary engineering report for the town's grant application for the EPGA money. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the town of Crew accepts the replacement agreement of AES Northeast PLLC at a lump sum of for services provided in accordance with the town of Crew's financial policies not to exceed $24,750 and directs the town of Cruz Supervisor, Brandon McDonald, to sign this agreement. Be it resolved that this resolution shall take effect immediately. Discussion on this, we approved it last year, July 20th of 2017, and all reality, this is a replacement at a lower cost of $2,250. So, I'm going to give a lower the price, but they did for us. Oh, well, it's a different, smaller. Uh, yeah. Oh, one last year was with a village wastewater plant. Discussion? Okay, Roll call. Douglas? Yes. Mr. Langley? Mr. McDonald? Yes. Yes, it gets passed. Okay, we're going straight to number eight. There's a quick discussion about um, last week going to a meeting at the county. It was for um, county legislators, uh, town supervisors, and some people from the state. And basically, it was go over shared service agreements uh, between health insurance, trying to group gatherings of towns together to try to get cheaper health insurance or uh, the same kind of health insurance. Um, shared services, I'm sure Jimmy went through all this over the years with the legislator. And then also, like I say, if a town wants to buy a truck, and there's three other towns that are thinking about buying a truck, group together and buy like four trucks from the state at once to see if there's any kind of savings. Um, the guy from the state was very helpful. He gave us his contact, all his information to start attending our meetings out here when they have these once a month. So it was actually a really good meeting. And uh, I think 27 people showed up, which was the biggest turnout they had. Of course, it was in the afternoon for most people to make it. So it was a good meeting. Um, and then that was another discussion. Okay, we're going to go right to number nine. Um, you see a Main Street uh, improvement uh, project phase one payments. Last year we received $9,200 in payments for the uh, beginning of Main Street project. <coughs> and we had a remainder of $39,800 left that we needed to get refunded from the village of Ross Point. And we got it last week. So we are paid in full for what we have submitted for $49,000 from the grant for the beginning of Main Street project. And that was deposited last week. Anything else you can add to that? No. So we're paid in full up until this point. Any other questions on that? <coughs> yeah, we're down to other business already. So we're going to go right to Jim. Fine, thank you. Uh, so Jim. Thank you, sir. Diane, you had one. We received the uh, RFQ um, bids for their qualifications. I got to open my first sealed envelope. That was exciting at noon last Friday. And uh, Pam, Pam, Pam was, it was one bid, but it was delivered on a timely manner, which was what was important um, for being a rookie. And Pam was very supportive, making sure that I got the paperwork done and the letters done and everything is good to go on, on my end. Anything else? Okay. Go right to Courtney. Um, the tower inspection was fine, so I didn't spend Par the... Par pardon me, before we leave that, I just have one question. C CNS was interested in putting together a bid for that, too. They contact you, Mike? Who was that? Jim Franci Francescioni from CNS. From where? CNS Jim Francis Engineer. Never, never caught you? I don't know. Because he, he wanted your contact information I gave to him, so... Okay, that's all. Thanks. Sorry, Mike. Jim Francesco. Francis, C O N I. He lives here in Peru. Um, yeah, the, the tower was inspected. I did get an email on a verbal. Everything was fine. And we had a report. I did get sprint to go ahead. Um, I believe Bob issued the building permit. The only thing I'm waiting on is the do copy the amendment for Matt to review when we're going to need to sign, and that'll be good. Um, the other thing, 
I have is John Flynn asked me to start looking into putting in new bathrooms at Lapham Smells and going with a, possibly going with a septic system. I have looked into it a little bit. I've talked to Peter Gibbs um, about the process of going through a perk test and stuff. He told me it'd be $700 if we take the whole and stuff for him to do the report. I talked to John Flynn today. John says he, he could spend that at his budget. I'm just looking for the approval when the weather breaks. Do a perk test. To go ahead and do a perk test to see if it's even feasible. Now how do you feel about the overall concept? Excuse me? How do you feel about the overall concept? I'm putting a new bathroom. A little septic system? Yeah, I mean, it is, it is busy out there. They could use more than just two stalls. Um, it's going to be expensive. Yeah, well, what about a second organic system like yeah. what we have there? And that's a possibility. I guess they're getting a lot of order complaints. I told them last year I went with a different product that's not as right. strong. This year I'm going to go back and if we can want to pump it out a little more often, you know, we'll try to and see how it goes. But I've got to find out too from the health department if we start putting water into a more permanent structure. You know, it might be required being a public to be testing or to test so much on. So UV system. Yeah, it might say might require it might require disinfection. So it could be a lot out of the year. Yeah. So where will the water come from? There's a well out there. To be determined. Yeah. I'm sorry. To be determined. Yeah, yeah right now is more of an information yeah. finding out. If we even have a spot to put it. There's so many birds out there right now. Get your set back on the leech field. Storm from last year. Uh, we signed off on the paperwork for 29,000 in change. 75 percent of that will come to the feds, and the other 25 is up to the state if they want to release it to us or not. Uh, we got one more form that's going to come in the package of the PF40, if I'm right, thing. Uh, we just got to check that off, and once that's in, uh, the money should be turned around fairly quick. And the other thing they have is on the uh, telegraph. Solvent culverts, we got all the paperwork in with Liz and in into the state. I know Jim, you brought up the sliding liner. I went back and looked. I was correct last month when I said 63 was the biggest, but I got online, did some more research, and it did look like now in the last two years, since Parson Road, they are going larger. So I sent an email out down the walk, the walk from Snap Hook, did call me back. I'm going to meet them April 18th, and they can do some large culverts. Uh, there's no guarantee that'll work. That was rejected by both the DEC and parts in uh, the Army Corps on Parsons Road. I mentioned that to Don, but they had sense to come out with uh, kind of like a baffle system for fish. They've had a lot of success in uh, New Hampshire and Maine. Of course, they're not up to be a strict. So I did mention that, so that may be another process. If this uh, grant doesn't work, uh, we can certainly look at it. Like I said, I'm going to meet on the 18th. We're going to see. He did, uh, Peter Gibbs, did send him all the plans and what it looks like, and uh, we'll go from there. But that would definitely be, a, if we could go that way, there's no dig, uh, no disruption in traffic other than maybe machine up the road, set the pipe and slide, but I'm sure it'll be a lot cheaper. We'll see where that plays out. Do you think, uh, regardless of that, the head wall is going to need repair anyways? Yeah, definitely the uphill street yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, and probably, I'm sure the downstream is the same way, but we could always uh, drill it, pen it, and then if we had that six inches on the each side or something. And, uh, if you do a slide in, they got to do a head wall anyway. So that would be the time to do that. You said it's been done, Mike, in Vermont, in New Haven. Yeah, and it, the DOT is doing it, and actually the county is going to get into it because uh, they're going to look at mine, and then um, they're going to look at two projects for the county. And uh, while I'm right there, I'll probably just quarter mile down the road and see if we could just have them look and, and no, no guarantees or anything, just see if that one could be done. 
uh, two, uh, but everything's still going to have to go through the Army Corps and all that. But at least for the baffles, for the fish, they, maybe that would be the, the block you know, to get us over the road. Uh, just real busy. Um, everyone just looking for me now, so I've been running pretty hard. So um, I want to say that Darling and I have coordinated closing a lot of permits in the past month. I, I would say we're almost 100 permits that, that those permits have been open for many years. So um, she sent out a couple hundred letters, probably 300 probably letters, and. Uh, we close about 100 of those permits. So, in addition to keeping up with the, the additional work, you know, work for, for new permits and stuff, so we're busy. That's good. Thank you. Yep. Uh, Dave. You really want it? Sure. Okay, from January 1st till now, we've had five dog bites in Peru. Two extensive ones in the last three weeks. These dogs were not inoculated. They had never been licensed. They're licensed now. We get a dog census in this town, like, Supposed to be done. I can find these dogs and I get some help looking for them. We've got over 600 licenses, and I bet you there's another three or 400 out there that people don't know about. I find them by accident when they get the dog gets bit. Nobody should be getting bit to be able to find a dog. I've taken eight dogs in this uh, in the last three months that have been running. But it's the dog fights driving me nuts. I'm getting close to the end of this job. It gets aggravating. You know where I was at. You took me out to Palmer's with a dog. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you're right. right. The governor with that dog. Yeah. So nobody has right. nobody in the area from uh, Lake Placid, E Town, Elmore <coughs> can take a dog in. Like this dog was supposedly mean. He wasn't as mean as he thought he was. Yeah. And I made one phone call to Palmer's. I'm going to tell you. They were great, and they took the dog in immediately, which was absolutely awesome, because Dave was actually headed as, like you said, a kin. I made one phone call and got the dog right in there. And I'm going to tell you, they were great. And I met Dave at the Palmer's with the dog, and the dog came out of the back of the truck, and I told Dave, if it does anything, let it go, because there was nothing we could do. It was a big dog, and he was fine. So um, He hollered me that information from the distance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was, I was about eight feet away. That was close enough. Let me tell you. Uh, so, Dave, on that dog, on the extent of his injuries, do you, do you think it was just from frustration trying to get? It, it, it had some history. Uh, I had no problems with the dog. I talked to him a little bit, told him what happened to him when he bit me. But, uh, <laughs> I think I think he was. This handle. Did you tell him it was going to be rough, rough, rough? If he was? <laughs> no, I told him he was going to be dead, dead, dead. <laughs> uh, this was a pit bull. There were two, two major ones that had been pit bulls. Uh, this one was brought out of New York City up here, and uh, the, the lady was taking care of it for a guy in Iraq. I said, that makes it a Peru's dog. You'll license it. She well, should be in court here for next week. Uh, do you have any estimates of what a dog um, census would cost? I don't have a clue. But we need to take down. somebody, go door to door, and approve him. Door to door. Every door. Mm -hmm. Nobody answers, leave him a notice. You've got 10 days to license your dog. You'll get an answer. I leave mean, notices now for people that. Uh, yeah, but he said, he, he said in the past it's, good. it's supposed to be done once every 10 years? Every three years. Every three years. Yeah, we, haven't, we haven't done it in about eight years. Kelly did it about eight years yeah, ago. And, and, uh, that, that was part, part of it, not all of it. Yeah, right. That was <laughs> not done <laughs> to the full extent. Pam, you remember we put money in, in the budget, correct? Pam, we put money in the budget about eight years ago, wasn't it? For Nine thousand dollars. I'm sorry. Nine thousand dollars. Nine thousand. I got three quarters of it done. All I need is some help. I thought it was three. Whatever it was. You want out? Uh, yeah, I'm licensed. Thank you. So, <laughs> no. Isn't there a way, Brandy, on, uh, you might be able to, with the system they use, which system do you use? Do you use the BAS with the dog? There's got to be a way in there, like on what I use, that you can query, like, the streets. Obviously, it'll tell you every street that, every home that has a licensed dog, right? There must be a way. So then if he's, if he does that and he just takes the ones that are not licensed, 
but that, that helps you yeah. if, because, and I'm gonna tell you this, yeah. there's been a lot of cases, and David can tell you the same on this one, there's a lot of cases where they have one dog license, but they, they got two more sets. Three dogs, you know, okay. So yep. that, that helps you right. in some ways, but right. it doesn't I understand. Help you. The okay. door to door thing like Dave's talking about, yep. um, I think we paid Kelly like six to $9,000 eight years ago to do right. that. Right. And honestly, that's a door to door, door to door thing for almost a month. Yeah. Um, just constantly doing yep. that. Yep. So but that's something Dave we can definitely as a board talk about. Um, um, and you know, decide to do that. It's, it's overdue. Definitely. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm just getting sick of seeing people do that. Yeah. And I have to. Do and that, that doesn't prevent people, but at no, least they they're they're registered their license and all that. These guys here, I don't know. Yeah. No licenses, no vaccinations, no yeah. nothing. Didn't even know they were in town. Yeah. Any, any other news? Dave? What's that? Okay. Pam? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Other than that, I have just the one more thing. Um, just want to get approval to send out a letter to New York State uh, Rural Water Association. They asked if each town could send a, a letter out to support. It's almost a chips of the water uh, thing for me to send a letter out to Betty Little and to uh, Billy Jones um, just to support this thing. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Good. okay. Other than that, any other stuff? If not, we'll go right to... Discussion resolution to pay the bills. Oh, uh, uh, question? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Johnny. Number 11. Public comment on general items only. Sorry. I, I couldn't understand what Diane was talking about with the one bid on what was it? Oh, it was, it was the... Yeah, it was a request for qualifications to the engineering firm. Oh, okay, okay. I thought that was okay. okay, that was the only one that submitted was Peter Gibbs. For the, for the Bridge New York project. Okay. And then the other one was Mike mentioned money from the feds and the state, 29000 for the snowstorm. That's over and above FEMA? Or? No, that, that, that was FEMA. Oh. So it isn't totally approved yet. Yeah, it originally was 8000 something on top of that, but uh, the county pays us to plow the road so they did that down, so. Okay. Okay. That's all I got. Any other public comments on agenda items? Okay, discussion resolution to pay the bills. I need a motion in a second. Jim Lingwin. And Jim Douglas. Okay, Diane. A resolution authorizing the post audit payment of certain claims, bills, and invoices of the town. Whereas the town board has reviewed and audited the following claims, bills, and invoices for services rendered and goods provided to the town in March of 2018. From town of Blue Vouchers 201800264 through and including 201800419, abstract dated 326-2018. For the dollar amount totaling $168,651.58 of that $29,386.04 was wired and $139,265.04 is remaining to be paid. Whereas the town board finds said claims, bills, and invoices to be acceptable in form and reasonable in amount. Now therefore be it. Resolve that payment of the aforementioned Claims, bills, and invoices is approved in the Supervisor B and hereby is authorized to make such payment and be it further resolved that this resolution shall take effect immediately, Mr. Douglas. Yes. Mr. Langley? Yes. Mr. McDonald. Yes. Yes, it passes. And uh, motion to adjourn. Jim Langley, Jim Douglas. All in favor? Aye. Aye.